Hello, I'm Serena and welcome to this guide on working with Microsoft Visio. To make the content in this video more accessible, click the closed caption button or adjust the playback speed. In this video, we will go over how to use a template, how to add text to your canvas, how to add and search for different shapes, how to add connectors between your shapes, and a few tips and tricks. So let's get started. Hello. We are here on the page for us to look up the templates inside of Microsoft Visio. So the first diagram that I'm going to do is we're going to just use the, the basic network diagram that's already here available for us to use. So, and you'll see the reason why I'm choosing this one. So I'm going to choose this one. Let's pop over. Great. All right, we're just gonna click create here. Now, when we open this, now you can see where we have all of our shapes already defined for us and ready for us to use. If you're looking for additional shapes, you can always type inside of the shapes. So let's say, um, for an example, I'm just going to do computer, but, right? And you see that it goes and it starts searching for us and it's going to bring up laptops, it's going to bring up PCs, and then we can always go back to networking, all right? And over here, we also see a PC, but another thing that we have is we have the cloud, um, we have our PCs. Let's see what else we could probably use on our diagram that's here. Um, this is where you would find all of your shapes. Okay, so let's click that again. And we're just going to, yeah, we could use a firewall. Yeah, we can use a router and possibly even a server. Uh, let's Microsoft, I mean, a wireless access point. And um, I think this is good for now, but let's add a printer. Okay. I am not uh, basically doing an assignment. All I'm trying to do is um, just show you how to use these, how to couple them together if you needed to. This could always be network one or a subnet one. And then here on the left-hand side, it, you can always group these together. So if I select one and I hold down my shift key, I can click on the other one and move both of these shapes at the same time, okay? All right, so now the next thing that we're going to look at, um, just in case if you're interested in, excuse me, just in case if you're interested in changing your theme here, some may like it to look like this. You can actually, you know, move this around, change your colors, be different. You can make it very colorful. It's totally up to you how you want your devices to do or how you want them to look. Um, I'll use this one because I never have used it before. And as you see over on the left-hand side, Visio is smart enough to also turn your shapes into that same color, all right? So let's go back to the Home tab, all right? And on the Home tab, we have your pointer, all right? So let's pick up our pointer tool and all the pointer does is allow you to move things around in inside of your diagram. So we're gonna put this back up at the top. We're gonna to double click this and we're gonna call this our internet, okay? And once you click back out of it, you'll see that internet is displayed across the cloud. So your firewall and then your router, but what if you wanted to add um, company B here? All right, so let's say we're going to, um, Company, oops, company A, oops, yep. And then we still have our text thing here. So, and we wanted to call this company B. Great. 
So now our professor or the person that's grading our paper knows, and this is going to be our guest Wi-Fi. And then let's say that this is our edge router. And this is our internet service provider one. Okay. Great, so that's how to add text to your diagram inside of Visio. all right? If you grab a connector, once it's green, you actually can see some of the points. As you can see, if you can slightly see that little green box that's showing up on the side there. So we have one here, and it's gonna let us drag here and connect it. And as you see, my connector is currently adding an arrow. So we're just gonna do that again. And I'm saying that traffic is coming from the internet. It's going through our firewall and then it's going to our router. But what if we wanted to add that? All right, and then perhaps from our router, we have this going there. And we also have all right, so that's also connected. But then we have all right, but what if our server also needs to go outside? All right, now do you see how this arrow is not necessarily pointing to that? But what if you wanted to change it? Great. So if we click on this and we bring it up. We can change the position of this. Let's, I'm going to click straight connectors. All right. And then now when someone looks at this, they can tell. So all I'm doing is that I clicked on this and then in here, you see this, how it keeps turning into a two-way arrow. That means that if we select this, hold down on the two-way arrow, it'll let us drag it up. So now that it's up, it's showing that traffic can come in from the router and traffic can go out to the router. All right, and then we're going to also connect our computer. I don't know what your situation may be. I'm only demonstrating that traffic can go in and traffic can go out, okay? All right, so we also want to do this. But what if we just said, click this and then right click and then let's use a straight connector. So now the person knows that we have traffic that can come in, but we also have this connector that can go out. I know this looks a little, <laughs> it looks a little jumbled here, but I, I, I wanted to make sure that you understand you can use straight connectors or you can use the curve connectors. And one way to actually fix some of those connectors is uh, right now it's not showing me styles, but I'm going to assume that that is because I clicked on that. Um, I I clicked on that template. I've never used a template before. I've already I've always done it, but that does not change the fact that if we clicked on this and I right clicked and I said use a curved, so now it's curved. So what if I also took this one to curve, and then I can take this little point here and move it. I can move this up. Hold on. Let me grab a point. It's, yep, sometimes it doesn't, oh, it's moving the whole thing. Okay, all right, great. So, but your, you, you, you get the point. It's not, it's not letting me do what I'm trying to do right now. There it is. All right. So even though it's a little bent, um, we do have that connector working, but I did want to show you that um, getting started with Visio is very easy. And once you get your shapes on here and you have it in your you, you have it laid out and it matches what you need, um, you can make the rest of it fit to your needs. Um, if I were to click on this and I click right, um, you can always group it with other things. You can hyperlink this to um, things like 
you know, I'm not sure if you would need that information, but I wanted you to get in here and explore. And you can always, you know, if I wanted to fill this with any color, I could change this. Uh, most people like for their firewalls to um, be orange because it's kind of the norm for it to look orangey a little bit. Um, you can always change that and say, okay, so now you have a orange firewall. There are many things, exciting things that you can do with Microsoft Visio. For more academic support resources, please read this video's description. Thank you for watching. We hope to work with you soon.